To another edition of Stepping Up Big Time, I'm your host, Lou Brantel. And Stepping Up, we discuss sports, all sports, and darn it, nothing but so. I'm joined by two sports analysts, Jeff Charnel, Kari. Ladies and gentlemen, it's good to have you guys back on the show. It's been a while. It's been like, what, a couple of years now or something? Man, it's been a while yeah, it's since, been... since we all three have been back on the show. But it's yeah. good to have you guys on the show. Glad to be back. How was school and everything? Good. Good. It's good. It's all right. good. Vacation is awesome. fun. Awesome. Guys, we'll talk about the NFL playoffs. First, right off the bat, we have to talk about Seattle and Green Bay. Can the Seattle Seahawks and Matt Hasselbeck go into Lambeau and beat the Packers? Uh, it's, it's feasible. What, what you get with... Green Bay, you get uncertainty. You get uncertainty at quarterback. You get uncertainty with receivers. You get uncertainty with running the ball. You get uncertainty on defense even. We have a very young team in Green Bay, and you have a very kind of sort of veteran team in Seattle. Okay. And Matt Hasselbeck is a quarterback that can occasionally get the job done. Okay. Um, Kyra, can you explain why uh, Jeff is wrong? Jeff, um, Jeff's always right, so we'll no, see. No, we'll no. see Jeff, is, Jeff is actually, I called, 90% correct, 10% incorrect. Okay. 90% <laughs> correct is because... Brett Favre was inconsistent. When we, okay. when we saw that Dallas game, when they lost by 21, how many picks did he throw at halftime? Three, two. We don't know what type of Brett Favre we're actually going to get. Exactly. You don't know what See, that's why I agree with him. Mm -hmm. That's why I disagree. You know what I'm saying? But with the Seahawks, yeah, you got to... You yeah. got to put him in the Seahawks in a very considerable you know, favor in this game. You know, it doesn't matter. I, I feel. I feel like this. I feel like if the Seahawks can run the ball, exactly. they, will they run the can't team. run the ball. But they do have Sean Alexander. Sean Alexander. Sean Alexander. Not two years ago, they have Sean Alexander this year. No, 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 no. That, that, talking about that, that talent he has is hidden. It's not. No, gone. it's not you know hidden. It's, it's hidden. It's gone. You know what's going on? It's gone. You know what's going on? You know what's going on? You know what's going on? What's the problem? What's the problem? You don't take it one game at a time. Listen, you don't take it one game at a time. You look at what he did last week. You look right, at what he okay, did a week let me before. Tell your problem. You got to take it from what he did the week before and why they are still in the playoffs today. Because they are still competing right now. They are still competing. Right, they are still now? a competitor. And you know what? You're not. Can I take a time out? And you're not a competitor. Can I take a time out? Can I what's wrong with you? Sean Alexander, you don't look at the facts. Sean Alexander is injured. He's, he's not the same play he was two years ago. So you're We're saying he doesn't, he doesn't have the capability to run for 100 yards in Lambeau Field. He football. cannot run for 100 yards in Lambeau Field. Yes, he can. Not in tough play. This is an 85 Bears defense. He's not playing 85 Bears. How many times on this show? How many times on this show have I outshone newbie? How many times? How many times have facts on TV have proved me right? Versus Nubi. About 2%. <laughs> yeah. About 2%. Uh, about 95. About, about 95%. Sean Alexander was injured. He's no, he's healthy. No, he's not. Yes, he is healthy. Did you see him? Sean in the last couple 95% of my, of my predictions actually come He's healthy. No, that's baloney. Yeah. He's Turn healthy. that around, Jeff. Turn that around. 95. Turn that around, Jeff. 95. Turn that around. 95%. Sean Alexander last week didn't have a good performance against the um the, against the Redskins. They didn't need to. They already locked up their division. Just, they knew they would go. They knew they had a home game against Washington. The less your starters, he's been out half no, the year. You rest them. You rest them. In the you rest them. Now you have to play three quarters. But if you have a, a former MVP running back and he's been hurt all year, you know you have a home playoff game. Why would you throw him in the last game of the year when you had this backup kid Morris from the University of Oregon who can just come in and run in the, the ball. playoffs? Will Sean Alexander? No, to be Sh fast. Matt Hasselbeck played. Right. He's been nursing an ankle injury all year. Listen, put listen. your ticket. He's injured. Listen, listen. but that doesn't mean he can't run for hundred yards. Listen, listen, that doesn't mean. That's, 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 that's like what I, I said. said. I said this is what. This is That doesn't listen, mean he can't run the ball. Listen, 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 this is what I said. I said if they can run the ball. I never said they were going to run the ball. I never said they will run the ball. I said if they can run the ball, and that is a possibility. Listen, when, when, you have, when you have Green Bay's young defense and you have and you and you have these um no veterans on that team on the defense side of the ball, you know there are there are plenty of holes in that defense. Okay. And I do think Sean okay. Taylor and Alexander won't have a good day. Okay, let me tell you why you're wrong again. Oh, okay? God. Seattle doesn't have good defense. They're nineteen against the pass. Nineteen in the league against the pass. That's not good 95%. defense. That's 95%. not good defense. Last time I checked, 95%. 19 out of 32 is not that good. 95%. That's not even close to 95%. But this is where it all comes down 95%. to. They have the coaching 95%. factor. Who would you want? Mike Coleman, the first coach ever to bring lead two different teams to the Super Bowl, or would you have Mike McCarthy? Doesn't they have the coaching right. factors. Not, not, if it comes down in the clutch, Mike Coleman can out-coach Mike McCarthy. He can out-coach Mike McCarthy. 
Time out. Listen, time out. Let's okay, move on. great coaches are great, but when they have great players, they have bad players in Seattle. It's a called great coaching. They're not talented. Last team. year with Bill Belichick, okay, we had okay, nobody. Okay, we had Reshea Coldwell. Right now, we went to the AFC time Championship out. game because we had great coaching. Doesn't matter about talent. We didn't have great talent last year, and we were two plays out of the Super Bowl. Graham. We had Graham. He was the best tight end, I think, <laughs> in the league. So don't give me baloney. I like ham and cheese. <laughs> Next question. You give me a Reddit right now. I want feedback. Next question. Was Pittsburgh outplayed or outcoached against Jacksonville? And now it's going to be Jacksonville most likely against the Patriots. Can Jacksonville make an upset? So first part of the question was Pittsburgh outplayed or outcoached last week against Jacksonville? Who's making these questions up? They were outcoached and outplayed. It was they were general. They were, they, were, they, were just, they were just a team that just had no fire. They had nothing. They had nothing riding on it. I felt like they were playing uh, preseason. <laughs> I didn't know what was going on in that game. I and, agree. Um, to me, yeah. Roethlisberger is not a quarterback that is just I consistent. I think that they need to look into the draft this year and really look at a uh, legitimate quarterback. That- Roethlisberger won a Super Bowl. Newsflash. Oh is is it just me? Or did he? <laughs> listen, listen, listen. Listen, listen, listen. Listen, 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 listen. Did Roethlisberger win it? A, a Super Bowl? Or did they defense? Did they defense win a Super Bowl? Their defense won a Super Bowl. Rock. Just like, just like, just like Ray Lewis and the um the Ravens that year they won the championship. You're looking at did, Jeff. Did, the camera's did, like, listen, there. listen. Did they did they win did they win a Super Bowl or did their offense win a Super Bowl? The defense won a Super Bowl. This when Roethlisberger. Well, what Roethlisberger is what Roethlisberger you had to do with can't the game. Say, uh, Coach Raley, Mike Tomlin. This is his first year as head coach. Listen, listen. I know he came in there. He went to he went to the worst battle in the playoffs. With his best guy out of the game. Listen. It was Willie Parker. He was hurt. They Listen. had two starting tackles out of the no, game. No, beat no, up. You know, you're, you're, you're completely they right. You're completely right. But let's get back to the Super Bowl thing. Roethlisberger, he was on the field managing the game. Roethlisberger, he, and he, that's all you need to do. Is no, 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 no. Roethlisberger, how do you that game? Who was the MVP in that Super Bowl game? It doesn't matter. Who was the MVP? Who was the Super Bowl champion? Who was the MVP? Who was the Super Bowl champion? He was not. Who was the Super Bowl champion? Roethlisberger, the Steelers. He's not a consistent quarterback at all. He won a Super Bowl. He is not a consistent quarterback. Trent Dilfer won a Super Bowl. Exactly. My grandmother won a Super Bowl. Say that. You need a great quarterback to win a Super Bowl. That's the point. The point I'm trying to make is... You're making my point. No, no. I'm not making your point. No, you're not making, making my point. point. I, said, I said he was there to manage the game. And and he hasn't been doing that because he's been a part of the game too much. When you put a guy like that in that situation where he is not a consistent quarterback, you have, you have him making decisions right, anyway, on the field, it shows. It shows right back. Here. Let's get back Ooh. to the original question. Ooh. Let's get back to the original Ooh. question. They were out coached. Man, Mike Tomlin was out coached. coached. They weren't out played. You can't chase points. They weren't out played. They lost by two points. You're not out played. And Jackson wants us right now. They're, they're, not, not, they're not that good. They're not that they good. They gave them 18 points in the, the fourth quarter. Who does that? 18 points. They're not that good. To a bad offense. David Garrett is not that good. To a bad offense. To a bad offense without Willie really Parker. But. See the th- see the thing you're not understanding. Both of you not understanding is David Garrard is in there managing the game. They put the reins in Roethlisberger's hand. <laughs> you want to When, when you do that, that when you do that, that, when you have someone that, that the wolf shouldn't be, when you have someone that shouldn't be making decisions on the field, making those decisions, that's when you lose. What, did I just make that argument about Ben Roethlisberger maybe about a minute and a half ago? Uh, did, did I just do that about no, managing the game? I did I did that. I just say that? that did maybe maybe I said um, that. So that, that it does not. Matter if David Garrard manages the game. Look at his final stats. He was nine for twenty-one with one touchdown. Bingo! And you cannot go in the Fox Bowl with one hundred and thirty-two yards passing the ball. Who do you think you are, Peyton Manning? To go in there, they have no shot. Even have coming close to beating the Patriots. Oh, they don't have you it. can't give up eighteen points in the fourth quarter. That's where Brady shines. <laughs> That's when he sees the moon. When it's fourth quarter, he's down by 10 or 20 or, or 15.